In this video, I will take you through the catalog creation process. With Instructured Web, you have the ability to create your own customized catalogs. Uh, to do this, we must be inside the Product Center, so I'll choose the Product Center option from the GoTo drop-down box. Once the Product Center introduction loads, choose Catalog Pages. This loads the Catalog Page Index. You'll see all the catalogs currently on your website. To create a new catalog, choose the Add New button. This brings you to the Parent page. Choose Add to this page on the right side. And then it brings you to the New Page screen. You'll see all your managed catalogs. Managed catalogs are catalogs that are managed by Structured Web, and, th and there's no updating that you need to do to them. To create your own catalog, choose Create New Page. And this brings you to the Add Catalog Page screen. On this page, we need to give the catalog a name. So next to Page Name, name your catalog. So I will name this Maxon. Subpage section title, leave as is. Number of subpages to display per line. Uh, going left to right, how many categories would you like to be displayed uh, on your website? A good number to use here is two, but I've seen three or four. Product section title, leave as is. Number of products to display per line. Again, meaning on your website, going left to right, how many columns of products do you want? A good number to use is two, um, but I, again, I've seen three, four. Uh, additional information, section title, leave as is. Thumbnail description. This is the description of your product catalog. Uh, this will be displayed under your thumbnail. Uh, your thumbnail basically is a, a thumbnail image uh, of the catalog. In this case, it's Maxon. So I'll enter a thumbnail description, and I'll say Maxon has been providing quality furniture for over 20 years. And then I'm going to add my thumbnail. I'll just choose the Browse button and I'll find my thumbnail which is my Maxon logo. I'll choose open and it places it there. You can also copy and paste the URL. Uh, let's just say the image is stored somewhere else on a website. You can just copy and paste that, the website address. Uh, below there is a editor. Um, any information that you place in here gets displayed at the top of the next page. So when we click on Maxon Furniture uh, at the top of the next page uh, it'll have a header or maybe an introduction uh, to the catalog. So I'll say this is our Maxon Office Furniture Catalog. If you don't see a product, please let us know. And then I'll choose the Add button. On this screen, this is where we'll actually build out the catalog, meaning the categories and the products. Uh, categories are basically categories such as chairs, desk, credenzas, and products are the actual products themselves. Um, for this example, I'm going to create a category, so I'll choose New Page under Category. The page name is the name of the category, so I'll type in Chairs. Subpage section title, we'll leave as is. Number of subpages to display per line. Again, how many columns of categories would you like? I will choose two. Product section title, I will ignore. Uh, number of products to display per line. Again, going left to right, how many columns of products would you like? A good number to use is two. Additional information section title, ignore. Thumbnail description. Uh, it's a description of this category. So I'll say these are our current Maxon chairs. Thumbnail image. Um, again, a small image of uh, the category. So I'll choose my thumbnail. I'll choose open and then we'll choose Add. So this creates the category. Um, at the top of the page, uh, it's what we call a breadcrumb trail. It tells you where you are inside the catalog. So as you can see, it's slash product catalog, slash Maxon, slash chairs. At this point, we can create an additional category if we like, um, or we can go ahead and just create product. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a product now. So I'll just choose New Product. And then it's a simple form we need to fill out the name of the product. Um, so I'll say this is called the Kingston. Uh, display name and again I will name it the Kingston so this is what gets displayed on the website uh, a model you can enter a model if you'd like and I'll just name it manufacturer if the manufacturer is listed um, choose it otherwise select new manufacturer and type it in the field below uh, MSRP uh, so I always suggest entering an MSRP if you if you have it available your search keywords uh, these are the keywords that you want the customers to uh, search for on the website, so I'll just name it Kingston Chair. Thumbnail description, uh, description of the actual product, and I'll say the 
Kingston chair is a high quality product. Thumbnail, again the thumbnail of the product. So I'll choose the browse button and I'll find my thumbnail. I'll choose open. Uh, if you are curious, I would suggest a good size for a thumbnail is uh, 80 by 80 pixels or 90 by 90 pixels. And if we scroll down, uh, there is an editor displayed. Again, this is for information on the next page. So when they click on the product, um, it brings them to more detailed information. This is a very good area to maybe put a larger picture of the product and some detailed description. Um, just for example purpose, I'm just going to actually add a larger picture here. So I'll browse my server for a picture. I'll upload my image. And here's my larger picture of the Kingston. I'll choose open, save and insert. This is the preview of the picture and I'll just choose OK. And again, you can put any descriptive text here you would like. Um, at this point, I'm actually just going to scroll down to the bottom and choose the Save button, and that saves the product. Um, so if we actually go back to our breadcrumb, you'll see slash product catalog slash maxin slash chairs, and then here's my product. The last step in creating the catalog is to make sure that the product, the category, and the actual catalog is turned on on the website. So here's the product, uh, and you'll see these two columns on website in Customer Center. Uh, they're both checked. On website means it's available on your public website. In Customer Center means it's available for your customers when they log into their private portal. We'll go back to the breadcrumb trail. We'll choose the Maxon area. Uh, you'll see the category again, the two columns on website in Customer Center. We'll turn them both on so we make them available. We'll choose Update and then we'll actually go to the product catalog tier. Here's my Maxon furniture catalog. Uh, I need to turn them both on um, or they won't be displayed and I choose update. One thing I would like to point out is um, you see the little folders next to each catalog and M means it's managed by structured web um, and a plain vanilla folder means it's a custom catalog created by you. Let's take a look at the catalog I just created. Um, I'm going to go to my website by clicking on the link in the upper right hand corner. Here's my furniture website. I'll click on my product center link. Here is the Max and Furniture Catalog. If I click on it, you'll see there's the header information, my category, my category description, and if I click on it, here is the product, the Kingston Chair. If you need help uh, creating a catalog, you can always call our customer service department at 888-584-6480, and any customer service representative can walk you through this process. Thank you.